Yeah, we're really excited uh, about the season. Um, you know, we're expecting the we're expecting the team to play a little bit faster this year, and uh, you know, keep moving in the progression to uh, build this program. Really excited to work with uh, such a young group um, and, and build them up and, and see them progress through their through their careers. Really exciting to see a lot of a lot of good shooters coming in in the freshman class. Um, along with the returners from last year's class, and um, you know, add in add in a couple seniors there, and uh, I, I think this is going to be a really really exciting time for for Mansfield. We are super excited about the upcoming season. We have our seniors back with Jalen Shelton Burley and Yonda Mikkel Jefferson. So we're really looking for a big senior season from both of those guys. We also have our second team All Conference player back in Riley Devine. And I think we just really had a good, strong preseason this year. We have some senior leadership, some upperclassmen leadership. And in my 12 seasons here at Lock Haven, by far the best preseason that we've had. Our main goal this year is just to try to improve daily and compete out on the floor with every opportunity that we have. We're certainly going to be looking um, to Ariel Jones, uh, who was a freshman of the year last year, led the PSAC in scoring. Really need her to show some leadership out on the floor for us with the young group. We also have Chriselle Gordy coming back as a sophomore that was one of the top rebounders in the PSAC. Uh, and then some really good young players who are excited to see what they can do once we get out into competition. Uh, Lauren Pettis from Susquehanna Township, uh, Ombriel Green from Central Dauphin East, and Lauren Mills from Lancaster Catholic have really been doing some outstanding things out on the floor and practice every day. Um, so we're really just here trying to work and, and get to know each other and learn all the different concepts. We have 11 new players and four returners, so we're still just trying to find what the best groove and fit's going to be for us moving forward and try to do some different things out on the floor. Well, based on our uh, preseason that, that was shortened and our experience both going to uh, Montreal, Canada, we found out um, you know, really fast that we, we have a young and we need to get an experienced team. So um, I think we have, we're excited about our eight new kids that, are, that came in. And uh, I think it's just a daily process of us wanting to get better every day. Uh, this is a different year for us of having only six upperclassmen um, returners back from last year's squad. So it's not something that is a normal situation for us, but um, I think our recruiting that we did with this group is, is solid and it's something to build on. The, the culture and the, the um, standards that we put in last year is, is sound and carried over into this year. Well, we didn't lose anyone from last year um, to graduation, so we're pretty excited with the experience that we have coming back. Uh, our two seniors, Marissa Molnar and Alyssa Mack, have been doing a great job so far leading at practice and kind of just having the newcomers uh, learn their roles real quickly. So uh, we have a whole lot of experience with our junior class and our sophomores this year as well because a lot of them being freshmen, freshmen last year got a lot of great playing time. Um, so we're pretty excited about that. Um, I think Megan Cordoni and Taylor Montana have done a great job from the post spots and then I think our returning sophomore class um, Emma Saxton, Peyton Spadacino, um, Megan Brandt, and um, Darcy Lee have done a great job um, over the summer kind of being in shape and I think that they're, they've really been working on their basketball skills this preseason so I think that we can expect a lot more from them next year as well. This year's team will definitely be different from last year's team considering that we graduated four starters. Um, but I'm excited about what this nucleus can do. The returners um, have depth led by Katie Fisher who is the lone returning starter from last year's team. And she's the glue. She does everything for us. Defends multiple positions, can score in a variety of ways. And then we have a few incoming freshmen that I think will make an immediate impact. Um, one is Jeanne Snow from out of Delaware. Just defensively as a juggernaut and can score. And then we also have um, Maddie Torreson, who sat out last year with the ACL um, rehab, and now she's back, and she was second team all conference two years ago, so I expect her to have a bang up senior year. Preseason went well. Um, the team really worked hard this preseason, probably the hardest since I've been here. 
Uh, our first practice went well. You know, pretty excited about what we're doing. Um, obviously, we lost Amani Brown, who was a big factor in our success. Um, but we have a lot of people back, and um, we have Tiff Lepotsky and Jordan Hertz and Marlene Bassett, who worked really hard in the off season. They all look really good and really strong. Um, so we're excited to get into the season. You know, we have a tough road where we have seven away games in a, in a row, which is really going to challenge us. Um, but, you know, they're older now, a lot of older players, juniors, that should be able to handle that. And, you know, I look for us to be at the top of the East um, in the top three this year of the PSAC going into it. Excited about the upcoming season for the PSAC. We returned most of our players from a team that won 18 games last year, and we're certainly looking forward to improve on that mark this season. Returning for us is uh, Riley Durr, is our all-time, uh, our leading scorer, and uh, second-team all-conference player. So we're expecting her to be one of our backbone players. Uh, we're really thrilled. We have five of our top six scorers back, and Gabby Wright, Taylor Thames, uh, Karen Lapkowitz, and uh, Alexa Smith to go along with Riley Durr. So expecting exciting things from this season. The rest of our class that finished up last year and that are now sophomores, Zoe Zerman had a couple big games last year for us, expecting some more things out of her. Uh, redshirt Caroline Stauffer in that class as well. A lot of energy, a lot of enthusiasm. So really, really looking forward to that. We do have some freshmen in there, but the returning kids are really what we're focusing on. And we're really excited about where they're gonna go and their potential. Our conference this year is very, very tough. You know, we think we have a chance of winning every game, but we also get knocked off. We just think it's going to be very, very competitive, and we're going to take it one game at a time. But for us right now, our biggest challenge is going to be the first several games of our season. We're certainly going to get tested early and often, and one of those also tests that we're going to have is we're scrimmaging our SSA exhibition game against the University of Maryland, which uh, is always going to be interesting, but we think that's going to be a good experience for our kids. So we're certainly looking forward to this year. We have a great group of girls. They're excited about it. We're excited about taking an step in our program and trying to challenge for a conference championship. Going into the season, I think uh, outsiders are going to focus on what we lost in our leading score. Uh, but the group that we have coming back, we're choosing to focus on what we have returning. Uh, which is a huge chunk of our offensive production from a season ago. Uh, we had a lot of opportunities to learn last season, a lot of young players that gained a lot of valuable experience, um, young players that had to step up and play major roles. Uh, so to have that experience coming back, I think is going to really set us up for future success. We're really excited for this season to get underway. Um, last year, we, we, we lost a big part of our team and first team all conference, Olivia McCabe. But we feel like we have a, a pretty good solid core of kids coming back. Uh, we have a veteran team uh, with two seniors and uh, three-year starter Tori Moreland and Laurel Barto, who uh, missed last season with a medical redshirt. Uh, we have six juniors uh, led by Gabby Smith, who was second team all-conference last year, um, Nicole Okoski and Marina Nunn. And then we also have Lex Hartwick, who started uh, a number of games last year, and then transfer Ali McGrath. Um, we have a couple good sophomores we think are going to contribute uh, this season. And we brought in uh, what we think are uh, two pretty good freshmen that are going to be uh, big time players at some point in their career here. So we're excited to see what the ha season holds in store for us. We have a great core coming back. Um, we have two seniors in Emily Norris and Maria Lapertosa. Um, we were solid starters for us last year, solid players for us both on the offensive and defensive end. Um, I feel we have a great core of veteran players. Um, that mixed with I, what I feel is a very talented freshman class. We have five freshmen coming in um, already in practice. I can see them stepping into different roles. A little unexpected, surprisingly it's a good thing. Um, and then we do have one transfer, uh, Nicolette New Newman, um, coming in this year who I uh, I expect to get some significant minutes right off the bat. Um, so, you know, our veterans mis mixed with our uh, incoming freshmen, I think we, you know, we can stand pretty solid and our defense is coming together um, very well. You know, offensively, we're still trying to mesh a little bit, um, but we will get there. You know, we're excited to be in this conference now for the sixth year. We've been fortunate enough to make our playoffs each of the five years, which is something that we're happy that we've been able to do. But uh, we're 
always reminding our players that it's a one-year season and that we can't worry about the things we've done in the past uh, and only focus on this season. So I know we have a group that's excited and anxious to start this journey and will certainly be challenged throughout a difficult schedule as always in the PSAC. Uh, but we're hopeful that we'll do our best and uh, have a chance to be in the thick of it as the season moves along. All right, we're excited about this upcoming season. Uh, we have seven veterans returning, three starters in Chelsea Rourke, Lauren Tavis, and Nicola Cava. We have eight new Lady Knights to this year's team. Seven of those girls are freshmen, and we're working hard each day. Um, we're excited about the PSAC. Uh, the schedule is always tough, and it's one of the strongest conferences in the country. We have specific team goals this year to include things that haven't been done here for a long time. Uh, finish with a winning record, eclipse our own conference uh, season wins record of 10 last year, um, go deep in these PSAC playoffs, and we are focusing on, at the end of this thing, an at-large bid. And uh, our overall schedule, uh, we play well, we get the wins we need to get and, and get some teams we're not expected to beat on paper, they'll get us a national tournament. I think I'm most looking forward to seeing how this team develops and comes together as a group. Um, you know, we have a lot of young people and some veterans, so it's a good mixture, and I'm just excited to see how we progress during the season. Um, hopefully our biggest strengths are going to be defense. You know, we usually preach defense, and we're trying to pick it up and get our schemes together. Um, so hopefully our biggest assets are going to be pressuring the ball, you know, getting steals, going in transition. You know, it's tough. The, the PSAC West is always tough. The PSAC in general is tough. Um, you know, we have some really good teams coming back. Edinburgh is going to be good again. IEP is going to be good again. Um, so, you know, it's, it's always, every night you have to come be ready to play. I think with this year's team, we're going to try to take baby steps and just get better every single day. Uh, you know, obviously we have some long-term goals and competing for a PSAC championship, but um, for right now, we just want to get better daily. We have uh, a solid nucleus of veterans returning, um, five starters from last year's team, and they've had a lot of experiences the last couple years, and it's a, um, a veteran group that knows how to play together, um, knows how demanding the PSAC is and how good it is night in and night out. Um, the thing that I think we're most excited about it. and I think one of our biggest challenges at the same time is we had a lot of young players last year and they're now sophomores and have a year under their belt and I think that they're really going to impact our team and make a, a contribution so I think our challenge as a staff especially early is to be able to define roles um, and blend those veteran players with our uh, young players. We just um, doing the things that we always do and just really paying more attention to ourselves and trying to grow and, you know, uh, get better every single day. And um, that's, that's worked for us over the years. We try not to get caught up in the outside distractions or the external things and just really focus on us growing and becoming a better um, basketball team every single day, trying to become more cohesive, learning to play together, learning to play the game the right way. Um, and we think if we do that, you know, we we'll kind of let the other stuff take care of itself. Looking okay. forward to the upcoming season. Um, we got a tough schedule ahead of us. I think that'll help us compete towards the end of the year. Um, obviously, it's a new year for us. We're trying to build off of what we accomplished last year. New head coach, uh, new assistant coach but we're taking it day by day. We're really excited about our schedule because we open up uh, Virginia Union against two of the top teams in the region in Virginia State and Virginia Union. I think that'll be really good for us to start off the year. And then obviously it's always um, exciting to compete in the Pennsylvania State Athletic Conference. Um, great coaches, great pro programs. Um, again, that will help us towards the end of the season. Uh, building off of last year's success, we have Sierra, Sierra Rostin, Jonte Walton, Michaela Barnes and Michelle Yon, and we're just trying to get better every day, taking one day at a time.